Today's adventure is at the Oyster Bar called Chenley's. Fun fact about Chenley's that I only discovered today. It's a village in England with a population of about 5,000 people. I just wanted to make sure the pronunciation was correct. So I think it's Chenley. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it seems that she would have owned this uh, particular Oyster Bar. Chain and the doors the are chained. Now, there are several entrances, uh, notably another chain door and a turret. But I'm going to show you... <laughs> Pretty, pretty easy way to get in. Boom, through the window. Now, downside is you're surrounded by about five raiders if you tr decide to perform that, uh, and they won't be too kind to your entrance uh, into their little den. Take the chains off, open the doors, and uh, take down the Mark One turret. You can see the heads hanging about everywhere. So you know the raiders are, yeah, they're a nasty piece of work here. Some mannequins for target practice, as you can see. I do love some environmental storytelling like that. Why this is not a marked location, I will never know. It is located just beside Hubris Comics and the Hallucinogen Incorporated. This guy's in the bathroom, although you don't get much privacy in it. We'll be heading into the interior where we'll actually be finding an easter egg to the Saw movie. Now, whether or not it is a direct Saw movie easter egg, the wiki says so, so I'm going to believe it. The guidebook doesn't mention it, and I think it's just pretty cool storytelling. So, this legendary raider that you may have to go through. Um, I'm quite a high level, so do, you know, bear that in mind when you're walking in here. Closing that door, was there anything underneath? No, there wasn't. Right. This is, without a doubt, one of my favourite things I've ever seen in this game. Because it took me a moment. So look at this guy here, right? Has handcuffs on. Has a hacksaw and right arm bones, right? What do you notice? What, what do you notice? I'll give you three seconds. Yeah, he's got both arms. Whose is the right arm bones? Was it a cop? Presumably it was a cop that had his... If this isn't the cop, that was the cop's arm. And uh, there's no blood stains, but it is certainly implied that that's the only way the skeleton got free. So that is a rough Easter egg. See, I thought it was his arm and he had died maybe with blood loss. And then I noticed that his hand was peeping out. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brilliant. Love it. One of my favorite references that we have encountered. Right, let's head on out to Back Bay here. Um, to the rooftop where we'll get our treasure. You know, I was able to go make a cup of coffee in the time it took for this loading screen to happen. Sometimes really fast and sometimes it's just not. But you can get yourself a sniper rifle, a bit of ammunition. Now, when you emerge here, plenty of heads hanging about. There's plenty of heads at the bottom of the, the sign here. There's just a lot going on. You can get yourself a steamer trunk of goodies as well as having to deal with uh, the boss raider. You could approach here from the rooftops how you would get over there. And it's a bit of a complicated question. I mean, with enough parkour and across rooftops, at some point you, you could definitely um, get an alternative route to here. You could, of course, snipe them from uh, over near the parking lot at Trinity Plaza. Uh, as they seem to always be sitting in this chair. So, you know, if you kill them, technically that's one less raider that you have to deal with when you actually reach the top of uh, this this oyster bar. Now, if we jump back down, I can show you that uh, they have quite a few heads just strewn. I'd show you at the start, but if I show, you know, really morbid things like this in the start of a YouTube video in the first 30 seconds, they, they don't like it, but if it's at this point, they don't mind it. Yeah, it's a... Strange thing to in YouTube content at times. So yes, I've showed you the alternative entrance, uh, the two doors, the turret, we've went through it, seen the saw easter egg, pretty cool. How long? There's a bit of a ledge there that I could have got to, I'm gonna fly up to it. Anything sitting up here? No. Ah, oh, that would have been a perfect wee spot for a bit of loot. For someone to just bravely jump over to here, and then there. That's a very, very shiny one. Normally they're green and not very shiny. Must be made of a newer material or something. Oh, they're not green. Ah, well, fancy that. Whoa, ho, 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 cam box. And a duffel bag, that's an unmarked location that, um, oh well, more a point of interest, but I don't differ between them because I think they should all be treated equally. Oh, it seems someone was using up here as a bit of a sniper position. 
plenty of things to find. Well, this has gone on as a much longer episode than usual, but, you know, Shenley's Oyster Bar certainly deserved it. Anyways, hope you have a fantastic day. If you want to follow the series, the playlist, and my socials are all in the description. Thank you for watching. We'll be moving on uh, into the plaza itself and find some more on Mark locations. See you there. Thank you.